Now we're going to talk about Mod X, or as I've been giving ImageLine a hard time about, the filter option. So this is what the Mod X button will do. So these, uh, in addition to having the envelopes and the LFOs, the other part you'll be looking at is the filter. So this knob controls uh, whatever option you set down here. So this is all your low pass, band pass, high pass. I'm not sure what BS is. It's an interesting setting, I should say. Uh, but if you guys don't have experience of what low pass, high pass, all that is, again, take those courses, please. Uh, that way I can. <laughs> that way you're not totally lost. But okay, what the hell is he doing here in three us? Uh, so, with that little deviation aside. Let's go around messing with the knobs, just get an audible sense of what all these knobs are doing here in 3 os uh, the sampler part that's working in 3 os got to remember that. So, this is Mod X, when we tweak it, we on low pass, make it quieter, make it louder, go to high pass, it's high passing all the low frequencies, boom, we'll keep it at low pass. And the fun part, when you get around to this, is okay, let's say... We're gonna set our knob to the lowest part of the sound that we want to hear. Maybe let's let's make a little bit of a you know plucky, uh, try to be future housey sound. Probably not gonna work super well, but we'll just kind of give you the sense of the pluckiness of it. So we have our mod X set. We'll turn up Y, so that's the resonance. So wherever the filter is set, it'll give it a little bit of a it'll give it a steeper peak. And now that we have that set up, we'll give it a little bit of resonance. Now we'll go out to our envelope. So. By default, the amount is set down to none. So that even when you have whatever knobs here, if you don't have this knob, you don't have the amount turned up, nothing's gonna happen, guys. So be sure to turn this up all the way, however much you want. We'll turn it up all the way so you can really hear the results. All these knobs do the exact same things, the volume knob, what have you. So we're not gonna go over that again too quickly. We'll just quickly, I'm gonna make a pluck sound. So we'll do attack, because we want it hitting right away. Don't want it to hold, because we want it decaying right away. We'll do decay, very short. We'll do a low sustain. And remember, this is all modulating this. So what this will do is it'll ramp. It'll push this all the way up and then quickly bring this back down. And then we'll release it. It'll bring it the envelope all the way down so it closes out. So this is what the sustains down here. So this is what it sounds like. Do it That's what that will allow you if you do a longer time, decay. And then we can mess around with the tension. That will allow you to get a pluck sound. Now, okay, let's say we have our pluck sound. Let's say we want to mess around with the LFO to give the filter an interesting sound. So we do that. This is like the whole premise of dubstep sounds, just modulating that cutoff filter. So that's what all those funky knobs do. One thing I forgot to mention that also comes with the LFO too is you'll have uh, your different waveforms up here. And this is what this allows you to do instead of having this wobble sound. You can give yourself maybe a choppier wobble sound or just a really, really choppy sound. More of a gated sound, mind you. So this LFO tool allows you to mess around with those. So what that does, click go over mod. So mod X is the same. Mod Y is the exact same thing, except it's for the resonance. So we'll quickly touch on this. So you can mess around with the resonance, and this will just automate this knob instead. So that's what mod X and mod Y do. Next part, we'll touch on pitch, and we'll finish up talking about the envelope and the instrument settings.